Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft design video. It's Dukon Red one and uh, I am excited to show you the video today. Obviously you've seen already the cranes. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, excuse me. Um, but anyways, yes, I'm going to show you first of all the helpers that uh, helped me to come up, come, up with these, come up with these designs. First we had Creative Realms, and then we had Velocity and Charmelin. So thank you to all three of you for helping me come up with this, um, all these designs and making this plot definitely noteworthy. This is one of my most requested videos is to go ahead and do uh, crane designs. Now for those of you that don't know uh, where to find these or if you guys want to see these for yourself, all you gotta do is do uh, come to the raven.org server. Make sure that you have Conquest and Optifine installed. The links to both of those would be in the description below. Go ahead and get those onto your computer. Join in Minecraft, Minecraft 1.7.10 and come join us on the Raven server. And then do slash warp arc. Um, it's down there at the bottom left and then that'll take you over here to that sign which will have a suggested warp list and all you gotta do is come this way and then you are here at the cranes and uh, this is actually uh, like I said before is one of my most um, one of yeah it's it's a very requested video a lot of people really wanted to see me uh, make a crane design video so here it is and hopefully you guys will enjoy it so starting off today we have this here uh, crane design this is a um, one of the kind of an older crane design basically it just has a it's a very basic system um, basically just a turntable here and then you can click it to being a um, the uh, operating system in order to operate the pulley system here to lift and lower that uh, whatever it's carrying and then you can also switch it back and then you can push it around and then that's how you would swivel the crane around all of my cranes or most of my cranes I like to keep it so that my cranes can swivel around because if they don't then they're kind of useless because typically cranes are meant to get something from a lower level say to the side so that it can get over here to maybe be a higher level or something like that I don't know from a ship to a dock etc you know just kind of along those lines here's another one this one is by Charmelin and it's a heavy-duty crane as you can see and it does not swivel that I know of it might swivel I don't know it's it's kind of like based in here so I don't think it's supposed to swivel but um, yeah this is a heavy-duty crane designed by Charmelin and very nice design there and I enjoy that very much then over here we got a very small crane design, more of a compact crane design for those of you that are uh, more interested in something smaller. We have several more of those throughout the plot and those are uh, mostly by Velocity. This one is by me, however, and uh, it's very neat. You have the pulley system here and on the other side and then that's how you would lift and lower this thing. And then you would push it around. As you can see, it has wheels on all axes so that you can go ahead and turn this thing around and make it awesome. And uh, so that it can swivel from one side to the other. And then, you know, of course, you got a counterweight on the back to make sure that the thing doesn't tip forward. Um, so basically, depending on how much weight you would have over here, they would try to counterweight it back on the, uh, the back there. Now here is the crane that I had for Aldrin Hill. It has the pulley systems up on the top and then down here is the swivel system. So up here is how they would lift it up and let down and then this here is where they would uh, go around. So that's where I got the design for this and uh, then Charmelin went off of this design for that. And But this is the original design here. Um, this is what I had for the, port, or the Aldrin Hill uh, plot. And uh, for those of you that want to see Aldern Hill, all I could do is do slash warp Aldern Hill. And then that'll take you to Aldern Hill and you can check that out for yourself. As one of my older builds, make sure you have Conquest and Optifine, very important. So here is another, this is a pulley system design. This again is by me. Um, this is based off of the Stronghold Crusader Quarry. For those of you that are wondering, you probably recognize the style here. Basically, it's a pulley system. Um, it's not really a crane per se. It's just meant to be a um, more, yeah, just a pulley system pretty much to pull a rock out from, you know, the quarry that they're mining down there. They would lift it up to this sort of like slide and it would slide down. And then this is where the, uh, uh, someone would be to, you know, prepare the stone for shipping so that it can be made into stone bricks or whatever they're going to be using the stones for. 
Um, but yeah, I really like this design. I really wanted to put it into the plot, even though it's not technically a crane. Now here's another interesting crane, very nice, by Charmelin again. He uh, made this, it's kind of, um, I don't know, I think it's not very well supported. Um, it's an, It looks neat, I guess, but the one thing is it doesn't connect here, so it's a little difficult to, uh, yeah, it this would break pretty easily but still it's a pretty interesting design so very good on that and again here's another small crane design and it again looks pretty well so cool beans i enjoy that i like it now this here is based off of a port uh crane design now i'm not quite sure why they're like this but as you can see there's no front support so it's like it would go over something like it would go over maybe a ship's hull or something i don't know but this thing is basically meant just to lift and lower. It doesn't go back, it doesn't go forward, it doesn't swivel. Now the system on this is it is a hamster wheel. So you would go inside it and then that's how you would uh, basically operate this thing is by going inside and walking along the bottom and then they would create enough um, friction and velocity, velo <laughs> actually no, velocity. I keep saying velocity because, um, you know, velocity, yeah, stuff. Anyway, uh, velocity so that it can turn and the, it would crank this in order to um, make it so that this chain would lift and lower. So it's a very interesting system. Um, I love the hamster wheel designs, and we're going to be getting into some much, much more interesting ones in the future. Now here is something that I saw. Um, I saw inspiration. I, I didn't quite understand it, but it's more of like a scale, as you can see, just like a big, huge scale thing, majigger. So, you know, imagine this being the giant version of. Okay, so let's go through our iron bars. So, um, so say if you know you're a giant and you are at your market. So we puny humans use that. A scale like that and uh, this is for uh, larger dealings um, I, I don't know you guys can be creative and come up come up with something interesting for what the use would be but anyway yeah it's just a crane um, it's basically just used to lift something from over here swivel around and put it down over there and the way that they would um, counteract the weight so that it would be like this is they would either add or lessen the weight on the counterweight back there so um yeah cool and so now we're going to move on now this over here is another one by velocity i think he copy and pasted this one because i didn't see it but um i think it might have been on one of his older plots but he leaves his heads on everything of his so Yes, so this is another one by Velocity, very interesting, a good job. Now this here is uh, the hamster wheel design that I came up with, and it's very interesting, I think. Now the design of this is, so this is the inner support rail here, and that's how you would um, basically, you know, that's how it would all stand up, is on this base. Now basically, the this entire contraption here, everything is all on this axis and this is how it would swivel around now to um, work the pulley you would again be in the hamster wheel all you had to do is get inside it here close it and then you would walk and then the combined um, you know it's just just how medieval basically pulley systems were created was that the um, the pulley or the hamster wheel created enough power in order to lift whatever it's lifting. But then again, it's always limited. You never know, um, like you can't overburden it. Otherwise you just break the whole thing. So anyways, I just really like this design. It's very well supported and it's very interesting. And uh, yeah, so cool beans. Now we're gonna move on to our next one. Again, another hamster wheel design. This one's by Charmelin. And uh, again, very cool, very good design, I think, and uh, works very well. However, again, it's a little unsupported. Um, I feel like there should have been another little bit here to hold up that, but still, it's a pretty interesting crane design. Uh, I try to keep um, realism in a good and good uh, standing. Um, but yeah, this is how you would also swivel it, as you'd push on this, and it would uh, swivel around. So. Yeah, we're gonna keep heading on. Again, another one by Velocity, as you can tell by this. And yes, you're supposed to pretend that there is a steep cliff here. So uh, yeah, moving on. 
here is another one by Velocity. I know I actually think this one's by Charmelin. Yeah, this one's by Charmelin. Um, it's a very small, compact crane design. And again, another compact crane design. And another compact crane design that looks like a machine gun. Honestly, that does look like a machine gun. Like it looks like you could like you this is where you'd sit and you'd have like controls and we'd go bam 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 bam. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's what it looks like. Moving on. And this one, um can't say I like that one too much, but still, it's a nice crane design, I guess. Depends on how you would like to use it. Um there's a lot of lot of ways you can use different cranes and everything, so I think that's everything for over here. Now we're gonna keep moving on over to here. Again, another one by Velocity. You have the swivel and uh, everything works well there. Um, it's very hard to put believable mechanisms into smaller crane designs and uh, I can definitely understand that. So here's another one. Now this crane doesn't have any swivel system. It's just the operating system to um, get it up and down. And again, here is the thing that you would use to Basically, you get two guys here and they go around in circles and lift it up and lower it down. Now, this one, I think again, is by Velocity. No, I think this one actually is by um, Creative Realms. I'm gonna check really quick. I'm not sure. And it's by Charmelin. This one's by Charmelin again. But again, it's very interesting. And it's on wheels and then it has the stabilizers. Um, which reminds me, I remember watching a video of a crane that was on uh, stabilizers and it was along the bank of a river and what happened is the stabilizers, like it was way too heavy, whatever was lifting and it's just the whole like bank of the river just gave way and like the whole crane like tipped and went into the river or something like that. But yeah, cool. So here's another one. Um, this one is by Creative Realms, and this one is really good. I, I really like this design. It's very interesting. It doesn't swivel again. However, it is the tallest out of all the cranes. And typically, um, like you can imagine this would be like on the dock. Like I can see this totally um, on a dock sort of thing, uh, lifting and lowering cargo out of ships. The only thing is that it doesn't swivel that I don't I don't know of. I don't think it swivels. Yeah, it doesn't swivel. But uh, again, you have the hamster wheel design. So you get someone in there and they'd walk around, maybe two or three people, and then that's how you would um, gain the momentum and the, uh, oh, what's that called? The, uh, there's potential energy and then there is active energy. I, I forget. Um, that's how you would gain the energy required in order to use the crane. So anyways, I think that's about all the cranes I have here. Now again, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I really wanted to do a crane video and uh, get this out to you guys and I hope that it was inspirational and hopefully you guys will want to see them for yourselves. So yes, if you want to see them for yourselves, come to the raven.org server and do slash warp arc and come see this for yourself and uh, we're excited to have you here and for you to see them for yourselves and looks like we got somebody here um, but yeah this is seems to be a very popular place people love to see it and there's interiors over there there's all kinds of designs over here different heads you can use in your builds over there it's just a little bit of everything but um here we're gonna go slash vanish and now we don't have to worry about somebody messing us messing us over but yes, um, this is Crane Designs, and this is the Raven.org server, slash Warp Park, and uh, yeah, Cranes, cool. Don't forget, guys, that I have a Facebook and a Twitter. You guys can go check me out over there. Uh, like and follow uh, would help me out, and uh, we'd love to have you guys over there and uh, learn more about you, maybe. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or any comments, definitely comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Uh,